Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name's Katie, and if you are new here, hey, welcome. And if you're back, as always, welcome back. Today, I'm here with an unboxing from a really fabulous company in the diamond painting community. And this particular package comes to us from the fabulous folks over at Craft Ease. So I'm gonna start getting into this package, but I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about crafties as we do so. But this is how it came packaged, kind of in this plastic material, real lightweight, um, and the box will be inside. So I wanna let you guys know right up front, of course, that I am actually an affiliate for crafties. Um, if you've been around my channel for a little while, you've probably heard me say that I actually am pretty um, selective and I'm, I keep it pretty limited, any companies that I do have affiliate relationships with. Um, and so I feel confident about the companies that I am standing behind as an affiliate. I've completed several kits from Crafties as well as worked on um, and unboxed a number as well. Uh, but even while I do strive to give you as absolutely transparent and honest an opinion as I possibly can, it is really important to me that you know that that affiliate relationship is there. If you're interested in making a purchase from Crafties, I do have a discount code below in the description box that you're welcome to take a look at. But please, 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 no obligation. Um, the only thing I say is just generally speaking, don't pay full price for Crafties. Sign up for their email list and they do email out discount codes fairly regularly. So, um, and be sure to take advantage of that so that you're saving a bit of money either way. Um, if you do happen to use my discount code, I may make a small commission, but please like, don't feel obligated whatsoever. Uh, so here is the packaging. The box is a little bit crunched up. That is pretty uh, consistent, but I have yet to run into a problem with the canvas itself. Um, it's just because the canvas, as you're gonna see, it's a bit on the smaller side. It's not filling out the box all the way, but I've never run into issues with damage. Here are the kit contents and all that. So let's get into the actual box itself. Um, there's no marker on the outside of the box to tell us exactly what kit is in here. That's maybe something I'd be interested in them adding if possible, but uh, it is what it is. <laughs> All of the kit contents are going to be in here. I do appreciate that it has come in um, this additional protective sleeve. And as you guys can see, it looks absolutely perfect. So that's the reason I think the box gets a little bit crunched just because this is just, you know, this tiny, tiny package compared to the box itself. So let's take a look at what all has been included. Um, you might be able to tell based on the fact that there is a clear cover on the canvas, we can see the symbols in the drill field. This canvas is going to have poured glue, which is another one of the reasons why it's going to, sorry, I totally got that stuck on that sticky part there. That was completely my fault. Um, let me just, correct that. There we go. Uh, poured glue is really forgiving. It'll lay flat really easily. So if you do happen to have any crunchiness happening uh, because of packaging, it's going to flatten out super quickly. Okay. This is going to be so adorable. Now Crafties does, in fact, they license all of their artwork. Uh, and that is super important to me. You know, I'm not gonna show artwork on my channel that has not been legally licensed. And what it means when a piece has been legally licensed is that the artist for the for the artwork, in this case, it's Sybil Art, has not only given permission for the use of her artwork by crafties as a diamond painting, but they're also being compensated for the use of their artwork as a diamond painting. So this particular kit is named Melody, and I believe that this is one of their special glow kits kits. Now, uh, Crafties did recently launch a line of glow kits that include glow in the dark special drills. Um, the fact that Crafties includes a number of different special drills is one of my favorite things about them. Uh, they tend to have a variety of ABs and crystals charted just in their regular kits. And then here in these glow kits, we're also going to have some glow in the dark drills as well. Um, Crafties kits tend to be on the smaller side. So this one it says is 40 by 50 centimeters here. Let me show you here at the top all the information about the kit itself. There's that original artwork as a thumbnail. Isn't she cute? I thought this one would look super cute as a glow in the dark kit or a kit with glow in the dark drills rather. Here we have a legend, by the way. It's gonna have 22 colors, and you can see some of these are noted with special symbols, like here, AB. Um, up here, I think this one is gonna be the glow drill, and then we're gonna have this yellow AB, I think. We'll take a look at all the diamonds. I'm gonna point out to you exactly where those are going to go. Um, let's do a quick measurement and see if this is measuring true to size. I feel like Crafties kits usually do, but I always like to double check. So it says 40 by 50 centimeters, and 
we are at exactly 50 centimeters and then exactly 40 centimeters. Oh yeah, let me just shift that over and we will be exactly 40 centimeters. So it does measure true to size. Look at how cute she is. Now, if you're looking at this and going, oh no, that looks like wrinkles or even this right here. Oh no, that's a river. It is not. It's just where the plastic cover shifted in transit. Let's make those go away just to make us feel better, right? Okay. <laughs> so uh, this, like I said, this is poured glue. And so even though we can still kind of see that little tiny, tiny wrinkle there, it's going to flatten out, especially once we have drills down. Um, peeling back the plastic cover like this is a really good way to get rid of those what look like wrinkles. That is a little bit of a fold. But again, I think that is just where that plastic cover was probably shifted all through transit. That will come out, I am positive. I have seen um, similar, you know, minor things like that on kits I've completed before. And there is something magical that happens once you have the diamonds on the canvas with, at least with crafties kits. I will link by the way, to post reviews and unboxings I've done of crafties kits in the past. So you can take a look at what you can expect from a finished product from them. Um, they are a they're more budget friendly and tend to have these smaller size kits, like I said. And I feel like there's just, there's a number of different factors here that, like I said, make them one of my favorite companies uh, to buy from and to work on kits from. Um, so not only are they, like I said, budget friendly, they're smaller because, you know, sometimes it's really, really nice to have some of these smaller kits to work on and not just all these massive ones. They've legally licensed the artwork. They have pre-charted a variety of special drills for you. And truly, I believe that they hand chart their diamond painting kits because they are taking this artwork, bringing it down to such a smaller size, like in this case, that 40 by 50 centimeters and it's still turning out beautifully and I feel like a beautiful true interpretation of the original artwork and I love that about their kits. They really do have a lot going for them. Um, here at the bottom by the way we have information about their social media their platforms there and their website. Now the edges of the canvas, you might assume when we were up here, it does look a little bit like it's fraying, but I have to be honest with you guys. While this is a much like lighter and, um, it's, it's, you know, doesn't have any like fancy finishing or anything on the edges, just in general, it's a much lighter weight canvas. Um, it, I, I have not seen this sort of fraying actually turn into a problem. I feel like this fraying that we're seeing is actually just a result of where the canvas was cut. Um, if I were really worried about this, like even I'm literally, I'm pulling on it and it's not moving. I just think that that's some leftover uh, bits there. It's not going to fray. Look at the, if you look at the other edges, they're, you know, a bit neater. Um, I will, like I said, I'm gonna link to the post reviews I've done on other crafties kits and you can see that like, Frank has not been a problem, but I, like I said, I truly try to be very transparent and honest with you in what I'm seeing. And I wanted to point out to you that it is something that I noticed and you may have noticed as well. Taking a really quick look at the drill field, by the way, you can see it is printed very, very clearly. It seems like they're using a majority of alpha numeric symbols with the exception of like this black uh, symbol here that I assume is gonna actually, I think that's gonna be our glow in the dark drill. It's gonna be doing lots of outlining but otherwise we've got letters and numbers. Now, for me, sometimes that means that my brain has to work just a little bit harder, <laughs> as opposed to when there's like a greater mix of symbols in there. But as long as it's printed clearly, which as you can see, this is printed crystal clearly, um, it's not a problem, I don't mind. Uh, there, are a little, there are little bits of color blocking in here, like in her face. You know, we've got big chunks color blocking when we have large sections of the same color in a small area. So you can use your multi-placer if you like. But look at this background over here. Holy confetti, you guys, that is gonna take, whew, that is gonna take some brain power and some time. Confetti is when you have lots of color changes in a small area. <laughs> so you can see a huge variety of symbols in there. That is gonna take a bit more time. I have to change out the color in my tray a bit more often. I'll be using my single placer instead of my multi-placer. Not the end of the world. Lots of people have strong preferences on if they like are team color blocking or team confetti. I'm team, give me a mix of both please. And I'm a happy camper. Let me show you the rest of the kit contents here. So we did get a basic toolkit. Looks like they gave us three different pens with three different multi-placers. So little sparkly pens with different sizes of multi-placers on the end. So if you want to try a few different sizes of multi-placer, I suppose you can that way. We have a, uh, I almost said black, what? No, this is, this is a white plastic boat. Um, it's a little bit, 
it's a little bit warped, but that's, you know, it'll hold the drills. It just might, you know, just get creative with it, but it's the Mosfa brand boat or tray. We have a plate of pink wax. I thought it will be more than enough to get you through this diamond painting, I am quite sure. We have three different squishies, I'm not gonna bother pulling out. And then a pair of these angled tweezers. These might be useful for the special drills in particular. Some people some will have trouble with picking up the um, ABs, especially with the regular like pink wax, and so using tweezers is a decent alternative. I also sometimes will use putty. Um, sometimes that does the trick as well. We have a cute little bag of drills, cute set of colors. It looks like they're all pre-bagged for us. And in case you're curious, this YM008 does match up with this YM008 over here. So if I were to store these diamonds um, separate from the canvas and in a different box um, than they came in, then I can match them up easily later. take a look at our colors here so like I said they are pre-bagged for you so if you like to work out of baggies that is super convenient um, I am noticing that uh, the bags do not I think this has always been the case actually but the bags do not come with the DMC number anywhere on it so if we're looking at the color list the legend over here um, on the left is a n the numbers you know 1 through 22 and then the symbol and then the DMC number, which is the same numbering system that they use for some kinds of thread or floss. Um, so the bags themselves just come with that number, like numbers one through 22. So if you were to save these diamonds after, you would just have to refer to the legend on the canvas to get the exact DMC code. Anyway, we have these pretty different shades of peach and blue. I'm gonna save these special, ooh, hello special diamonds. <laughs> I'm gonna save those for last for us. Um, some more, sh those are so pretty. Those like really muted, muted tones together. Looks like there's not much static, which is nice. I often run into static with my climate. So <laughs> when there's not static, it's a nice surprise. I will probably, even though I could work out of baggies, I'll probably go ahead and kit these up into storage containers just cause that's my own preference. Did I, I think I might've gone right past, was that the glow in the dark drill? I'll make sure I'm not missing it. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, so we have these shades and then, oh my goodness, all those shades of green and blue green. So the special drills that we have, it looks like we have a total of five special drills. So first I'll show you, these are our AB diamonds. Um, we have white and yellow. AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and it's it's referring to this really pretty, super sparkly and iridescent coating that's on the tops of these diamonds. You can see it there. On the white, it's like reflecting pink and blue and <laughs> lots of amazing colors. And like I said, you can see that coating here. Um, it's referring to the effect of like the northern lights and that color shift that you often see with those. The areas that these have been charted, it's going to sparkle just that much more than even regular diamonds do. It'll draw your eye to those areas a bit. And we'll take a look together to see exactly where those have been charted on this kit here in just a moment. But the, um, these next two special drills that I want to show you, these are crystal drills. I think that uh, crafties may call them star ABUs but they're crystals. You can see they're kind of transparent on the top. We have these two different shades of blue and the silver backing is just so that you are only seeing that transparent color on the top once they're placed. And so these can have a really, really pretty effect as well. And then this big bag here, these are actually gonna be our glow in the dark drills. These are gonna be placed on actually, I believe these black symbols here. And the effect of that is it's gonna give it a, I think it's gonna give it a bit of a dark blue effect. I've seen crafties do this with um, some of these glow in the dark drills and some of these like transparent drills like this, where they actually use the color that's behind them to add a color mix and then the, the the final result is gonna be a different color than this actual drill and it's deliberate. So let me show you. In the original artwork, because this is in the outlining, in the original artwork, come on, camera focus. Uh, the outlining that's happening, come on camera. 
um, like look on the edges of her hair and stuff. It's a darker color, maybe like a dark blue. And so um, I think that that's gonna be the effect that we get with these lighter blue glow in the dark drills on these black symbols. That's so neat. I think that's so, so cool. Now, um, Crafties has pre-charted all of these special diamonds for us. So first we're gonna look for the ABs because I think that's gonna be the easiest. Um, indeed, the, the yellow sparkles here that you're seeing these stars, that is all that yellow AB. Same up here, this star and the whole moon is a yellow AB. Yellow AB all in her headband. And then the white diamonds you're seeing in her headband, the white symbols that make those flowers, that is gonna be the white AB. So that's gonna be so pretty. I think those are really, really beautiful places to have those ABs placed. The crystals, we are looking for, okay, the number 20 is the symbol T, and the number six is the symbol six. Oh, I like that they do that. <laughs> so um, let me see if these are gonna be any trickier to find. Cause I don't know if there's a really obvious place that these are going to go. T and six. Okay, so her eyes, ooh, that's gonna be pretty. This color blue, almost a lot, almost has like a lavender effect. That's gonna be the color here in her eyes. And then her pupils are the darker blue. <gasps> ooh, that's gonna be striking, both of her eyes are the crystals. What? That is such a cool idea. I really, really want to see how that's going to look. <gasps> I love it. I love it. And then I kind of already pointed this out, but this nice big bag of glow drills, which will glow in the dark, um, are going to be all of the black outlining you see in this entire piece. So it's it's giving shape and shading and it outlines almost everything, including her earring here, like every bit of her hair, the black you're seeing, um, the strands here, here as well, outlining her hair, outlining her whole face. Um, the outline, interesting. Okay, the outline around her lips and her eyes. Ooh, imagine this glow in the dark on top of the black symbol so a darker color and these two crystals in her eyes oh, yes i love it and then all of her bangs outlined with that glow drill and then again up here outlining outlining the moon is outlined in those glow drills as well Oh my gosh. So like I said, one of the things I love most about crafties is they give us a huge variety of different special drills that we can use in our kits. And if you're like me and you don't necessarily, um, love or feel like you're really good at picking out enhancement drills for yourself. I know there are lots of people out there that do an amazing job with like being able to look at a kit and go, oh, I think it would be really perfect if I replaced this color here with an AB and this color here with a crystal. I don't think that I'm good at that at all. And so I love that Craft Ease um, has done all that work for me and they've hand charted these kits. So the placement of these diamonds as I hope, as I hope you'll agree with me, it seems extremely deliberate. Um, and I think that there is going to be an amazing and um, finished effect once this is complete because of that. It's one of the things, like I said, I think is really unique. And one of my favorite things about crafties is that they offer that. And like I said, that there's a variety. It's not just ABs, it's ABs and crystals and glow in the dark drills. It's unique and it's really, really cool. And they have licensed the artwork from the artists. So they are doing right by artists. Really, it is just a combination of so many different things that I love. And it seems like um, pretty frequently they're adding new art to their library. They have a whole section of um, diamond paintings at this point. And then if you like paint by number, they have an even bigger selection over there as well. So be sure to go and take a look. I think the Crafties has a lot to offer. Um, and if you do decide to make a purchase, like I said, be sure you've signed up for their emails or check below for my affiliate discount codes so that you're not paying full price. Um, their shipping time can be a couple of weeks sometimes. It just kind of depends. That's one of the things that's a little bit less certain is I don't always know how long a kit is going to take to get to me, um, but I think that it's worth the wait. That's just my personal opinion. So thank you so much to Crafties for sending this kit over for me to share with all of you. I hope Hope that this video is helpful and gave you a sense for what you can expect from crafties especially from one of their relatively new collection of glow diamond painting kits with these glow-in-the-dark drills
Friends, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. I'd be more than happy to help. Um, I hope you're having a really wonderful day. And uh, if you're not already subscribed and want to see more diamond painting content from me, including an eventual post review of what this kit is going to look like completed, uh, feel free to subscribe. I'd really love to have you as part of my little community here. All right, friends, have a really wonderful rest of your day. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.